Okay, let me check that it's working and everything is in check here. This works. Wow. Well, that's pretty loud. Okay. Let's do it. New game. I hope you can hear me. Mother's love. Ask the receptionist about my room. Old city is the only district that has insulated its once new pieces of print become available, traders will display on their map icon. Mm, press any button to continue. Wait. Okay. Wait a minute, I need to see that it's working. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, it's working. Good. Ginger, that's what you need. A mouthful of the good stuff and you'll see the back of any seasickness. Oh, thank you for your support, John. Don't suppose you actually brought any ginger? No, I don't get seasick. Terrific. Don't worry, Sherry. We've almost arrived at Cordona. I can see that land through the porthole. So much for docking by his Ginger for seasickness? The captain seemed more interested in his maids than in his maps. Oh, he sure looked grumpy. Cheer up. We're back where we grew up. It's exciting. What's changed? What's the same? Ugh. I'm starting to question whether the week's long journey was worth it. Traveling all this way, enduring this indignity simply to visit a grave. Even if it is my mother's. Ah, that's just Mycroft's nonsense, still rattling around in your head. Try to forget what he said. I have. I believe it was that this is a performative farce, a feeble excuse to avoid responsibilities, and that there was nothing to be gained from it. You needed to do this. Enough of the self-pity and doubt. So we're a little late. What of it? We'll retire to the hotel and visit her in the morning. It'll be worth it. Thank you, John. And if you want to notify the captain's wife of his indiscretions, I will not stand in your way. Ah, oh, at last. I'm quite ready to get off this cursed boat. Come on. We'll go together. Wow. Looking good. Nice graphics. So many details. Water kind of weird, but I don't want to get petty. The mother's left as receptionist about my room. The first written mentions of the hand down leads pin evidence with X and then ask people about it with that evidence they won't understand you. Sherlock is afraid of water. If he falls in, he'll black out. Oh. Press any button. Okay. I press. Hey Sherry, come on, catch up. Yes, yes. Welcome to the game. Use L to move around and press A to interact with object. And L down is to skip. Huh? Ah, press the L down to skip. Okay, I get it. Uh, Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. I shall. Hello, guys. That's not really huge garden, is it? Not that huge. Not a tree you 
huge and they wrote it, spelled it. Does that mean anything that those little yellowish starry thing? Okay, so I need to ask the receptionist, right? That's what it, maybe I should go inside. Welcome to Il Palazzo Deluso, sir. Thank you. If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. Mm -hmm. If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. Ah, okay. Welcome yeah. to Il Palazzo di Lusso, sir. We just need your signature. Well, Would you kindly sign yeah. these papers, sir? Sure. Are. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Uh, yes, we have room 221 prepared for you. I see it was reserved for two people. Would you like a second key? Oh, uh, no, I, I think we'll stick together. Very good. Rooms are upstairs, sir. Welcome to Cordona. Hurry up, Sherlock. I want to see our room. I hope there's a balcony with a view. Hurry up, Sherlock. I want to see our room. I hope there's a balcony with a view. Ah, come. Are you coming? Or am I supposed to do anything else? I should ask there, so how do I know what to do? Uh, okay, let's... Your room is upstairs, sir. Number 221. 221, okay. What, what's with the sleeve, the one sleeve up? He dressed like a murderer. Oh. Uh, 221? I feel like I should have done s something more downstairs because he's not coming with me. Um, but I'm not sure. Okay, okay, that's 226, 227. Okay, it's going up. So, 221. Can I get. Nope. Two twenty five. No one wants to talk to me. Nope. Mm -hmm. Upstairs. <laughs> I'm supposed to be a detective, I can't even find. Uh, my room number. Okay, okay. So, I'm not sure. Probably missed it, right? Somewhere here. But it seems like it's going up. The numbers are... This is 227. 2. 28 to 29. Um, excuse me. I'm not sure where, where is it. Okay, one more uh, round. And if it's I can't find it, I will go downstairs again. So I can't talk to anybody. I can go outside here. I checked that already. Can you see the room there? I wish there was a zoom. Oh, I think... Oh, it's the other stairs, maybe? Okay. I think I get it. That's embarrassing. For a detective. Yeah, of course, I go the wrong way. Not even by mistake will I go the right way. Here I am. Here you are. Yes, please. I apologize, sir, but your room is not yet ready. Perhaps in the meantime you would like to relax in the foyer? Tonight the restaurant is offering a complimentary Marlin ceviche to all our guests. Let's check what they have on offer. Mm. 
Let's check what they have on offer. Why? There's so many people just standing around here. What's the foyer? Is it like here? That's not okay. I want my Your room. room is upstairs, sir. Yeah, Number but it's not ready. Where is the foyer? Hi. Hey, Sherry. Just our luck. Back to Corona. Where? Oh, Carbona, whatever it is. Where is... Uh... If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. Where is my... Is it my brother? Pardon, monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. Okay, go F yourself. Sorry about my language. Do you care to talk? Do you care to talk, my friends? Uh, what about you? No. No, no. Well. It's kind of weird that they let me talk to that guy and he's not in the mood to talk while all these guys they're just not giving me the option to. Why did the, why there was an option to talk to him? I'm not sure. Okay, let me think about it. Are you my kind of brother? Hey, Sherry, just our luck. Yeah, what can I? A medium, John. Haven't we been through this already? Luca. Come on, it's not like we've got anything better to do. Meeting the medium. Who's that? Excuse me, sir, but I believe Mr. Galici is conducting a seance at the moment. Perhaps you'd care to have your portrait drawn while you wait? Why? Pardon me. Why should I sit for a portrait? I... Sir, it's art. It doesn't need a why. It is its own justification. All things require justification, be they objects, systems, or beliefs. How about art as the lens through which we see the truth of the world? That's backward. Truth is not subjective and not complicated. It's just the truth. It either is or it isn't. You do not need a lens to see it, just an open mind. Ha! Huh. That seems rather close-minded. Truth, like beauty, is in the eye of the beholder. So tell me, what do you see? Mm. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> He's oh, not a nice Sherry, person. What did he do to deserve that? The servant mentioned ceviche at the bar, Sherry. You should grab us some, and I'll find us a table. I'm the strong. servant mentioned ceviche. Where? How do I? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mind place. Facebook. So I have uh, Cordona. I have Diary. Facebook. A table to spend the evening. John decided to look for a free table and ask me to collect a complimentary ceviche from the bar. Meeting the medium. Today only. The famed medium Luca Galici performed the seance. Witness him summon the spirits of beloved relatives and celebrate celebrities. John wants me to visit the medium. We must wait for the seance to end. In the meantime, I'll find myself a table, enjoy the music, and relax. Back to Cardona, I arrived to Cardona, the island where I spent my childhood, accompanied by my only friend, John. Ah, oh, okay, he's my, he's my friend. 
It is late evening, but I have a room booked at the hotel Il Plaza de Lusso. I simply need to check with the receptionist. It seems as if I must spend the night here before I can visit my mother's grave. The receptionist welcomed me and said the room number 2 to 1. The servant told me that my room is not yet ready. I guess I will have to spend some time in the foyer. John found an advertisement. Okay. Uh, hmm. Wardrobe hmm. and options. Photo camera. Case book map. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I I got the idea now. So I need to find a table and get some ceviche from the bar. I need a bar. But this bar had only... Was it a bitch? Okay, time oh. to check if John found us a nice table for the evening. Okay, let's find John. Where the were table, I think it was that way. Right. John is not very, very, uh, is, is not standing out, right? I mean, it's really hard to... to see which one he is. And I'm not sure I'm seeing any tables. This is the reception. Sorry, I'm kind of confused in space for some reason. This is the bar, maybe there, okay. Dark rituals at the graveyard. And so right after I turned the corner, I saw him. The necromancer. He started to nervously look around, but I quickly hid behind a gravestone. Common sense told me to run, but my duty to you, my readers, was more important than the risk to my own life. Luckily, the vampire did not notice me and continues his devilish ritual. He raised the woman from her grave and ordered her to kill two men who were close by. Close by. Then they kissed and made unholy love in her freshly unuttered coffin. It lasted for hours, but when the moon became low in the sky, then turned into bats and flew away. I would not read that kind of literature. I managed to obtain a few photographs of the victim. Unfortunately, these were conf confiscated by the police. Dark rituals. That's where the seance is. Can I go there? Um, where is John? Ah, oh, I think, I think he's there. Sherry, I'm over here with my new Ursine companion. Cordona's even quieter than I remembered. It's going to be a long evening. Ah, oh, come now, Sherry. What say we amuse ourselves with a little game? What were you thinking? Oh, promise me it isn't nonsense. After being cooped up on that boat, I am... Itching for activity. No. As you can see, someone left a cane on our table. I simply thought you could identify its owner. Uh, so it is nonsense. It'll take me a minute, John, at most. Oh, well, then. You can deliver it to him as well. Deliver it to him? <laughs> then what are the staff here for? Aesthetics? Oh, stubborn, Sherry. Too stubborn. You wanted something to do. Slapping oneself in the face is also something to do. That doesn't make it worthwhile. But all right. Let me take a look. I guess this is the tutorial for the mind map. A table is open. Well, I didn't get to see what's there. Okay. Uh... 
that's moving, that's rotating, hold inspect, hold A to inspect, okay, so, we say okay. The hand grip is a head of a golden Javanese statue, probably stolen from a temple. The dents suggest it has been used as a bludgeon. One of three. A crest depicting a bulb of garlic in a meadow, perhaps the fielding family or meadows, or craven from the old English name meaning garlic place. The cane is made of ebony, it's worn uncared for, and bears the scars of numerous hits. This cane is an expensive and ostentatious weapon. Its owner must be vain, volatile, and of noble English blood. Take it with you, Sherry. Let's return it to its owner. All right, I hope you noted down your observations in your casebook. But how are you going to find this nobleman? The cane itself is not enough. I may have to ask other guests if they saw who was here. Shallow can ask bystanders about a piece of evidence. Press this to open the case book. Pin the evidence with X and then speak to someone. Try it now with a cane. Okay, so press the three lines to open the case book. Pin the evidence with X and speak to someone. Okay. Does an investigative action require pinned evidence when profiling, profiling, profiling people? It will enable you to spot relevant traits in concentration mode, tracking, and certain points of interest appear when you have the relevant evidence pinned. In inquiries, in inquiries with passers-by, Sherlock will only ask about the pinned evidence. You can pin evidence from the casebook. This icon indicates that you might... Okay. So, I'll do that. This. Um, the table spoon evening, meet in the medium, back to Bordona, the lost cane. Okay, so I do X. And that's supposed to just pin it. So now when I talk to people, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's talk to this guy again. Pardon, monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. Oh, he's still not in the mood to talk. Uh, okay, press this. I did it. Open the case. The case book. Yeah. Uh, pin and then speak to someone. May I ask you something? Friend, you're lucky there is something I know about this. There were three people. The lost man. There were three people at the table. A couple and a retired Navy officer. Observers weren't sure what happened to the couple, but the Navy officer was seen going out to the front garden from, for some air. I have to find him. A couple and a retired Navy officer. Well, even with your keen senses, Sherry, I doubt you'll find the cane's owner on your first try. <laughs> and would you be confident enough to bet on it, my friend? Why not? Let's oh, see there's a lot going, going on. Okay, the last case. This cane is the accessory of a British nobleman. I can ask other guests about who may have been previously seen there. To find the cane's owner, I have to locate the former Navy officer who went out into the front garden. Okay. Press RB to concentrate and reveal details to identi uh, identify your target. Don't forget to pin the relevant evidence. Some clues won't be visible without... Try to find the former Navy officer. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do I get out of it? Okay. So, uh, front garden. 
I think it's the one... Yeah, I need to go to the... Probably to the uh, reception and go out there. Do you know anything about this? Sorry, but I never heard of this. Someone left their cane at my table. I suspect he will want it back. My apologies, sir, but I wouldn't know how to identify its owner. Hmm. So the simplest option ended in failure. That's irritating. Mm -hmm. No, what is irritating is you trying to break the rules of my game, Sherry. Don't be so lazy. Okay, okay. I'll find this navy shish guy. Are you the uh, navy guy? Maybe it's this one? English teacher suffering from chlorosis, a fable. Okay. What do we have here? Italian engineer, crime and accountant. No. Let me check this guy. Cottage teacher, what is a fable? Non religious, a fable. What about this guy? Ah, crude audio, that's really. Nope. Is it not the garden? The front garden? Uh, I have to look at the former Navy officer who went out into the front garden. Isn't that the front garden? Because I checked everyone here. Maybe I should ask. Not that one, huh? You lost the bet, Sherry. But don't let that stop your search for the Navy officer. Sometimes I really believe Sherry can never be mistaken. I'm so proud to be by his side. Sherry must be tired from our travels. I cannot explain his failure but my little challenge in any other way. The cane is made of ebony wood with oddly. Going out to the front garden. Maybe it's not the front garden. This one I ask him. Maybe I should go there. No. What about you? Italian engineer. Ah, military officer. Mm. Can I ask you a question? My dear fellow, you're talking to the right man. The Navy officer, Mr. Rhodes, was sitting at our table with noble couple. The men talked about yachting and the lady was fidgeting with a cane. Perhaps she put it in aside. And her husband forgot to take it when they went to meet the medium. Now I have a perfect excuse to enter the seance room. Hey, Sherry, don't we now have the perfect excuse to visit the seance? Yes, we I'm do. I'm just going to give the cane to its owner. You will not persuade me to take part in this show. Okay, I can give the cane back to its owner. Okay. I think the show was over here, right? No. Wrong. No. I have to go to the bar and there... There was this table. 
Can I run? Here. Here it's there. I believe it's there. I need to talk to you. Come on, if you hurry, perhaps we'll see the ghost. This hotel, this island, it's full of thieves. First my cane, now the diamond. Take your hands off me! Do you even know who I am? Hey, boy! That's my cane! I get that a lot. It's a very common design. What? No, that's a custom made! A joke. A joke. It was left at my table in the restaurant. I thought it deserved to be returned. Well, I'll be... It is rare to encounter a straight-fingered true penny these days. What a gentleman. But I must ask, how did you know I was the rightful owner? Hold to inspect, L move or take. Okay. Red face, swollen reddish skin. Rich and fashionable. Recently hit someone with force. Doesn't wear a wedding ring. A head of garlic. Garlic doesn't wear a wedding ring. Red face. Swollen reddish skin. Expensive and new clothes. Rich and fashionable. Slightly red. Now, I thought I recently hit someone. Judging by the heraldic emblem on his signet ring and cane, I can be fairly certain that this man is Lord Craven, a noble Englishman in the habit of visiting resort to receive treatment for his liver malady. His florid face indicates that he has succumbed to the temptation to drink a few shots of alcohol. Perhaps he was unsettled by the seance. By his red knuckles, I presume that he takes boxing lessons to strengthen his physical condition. Already annoyed by the disappearance of his cane, he is now infuriated by the theft of a diamond, unsurprisingly. An ill Englishman on resort. Simple deduction. Your cane told me everything. I was after a British noble who takes boxing lessons but suffers from some liver issues. And if one were to go further, one may even be able to extrapolate your name from your heraldic symbol, Lord Craven. Well, you're half correct. I am indeed Lord Andrew Craven. Your other guesses were wrong, but you still have the edge over that blasted medium. Well, you found my cane. Perhaps you can locate my diamond, too. Yes, you should do it. It will be child's play for you, Mr... Holmes. And if a child can do it, then I'm sure the local police can suffice. The police? Why bother? I know this Harlequin stole it. The only question is, where is it hidden? Fine. Give me my stick and I'll resolve the matter myself. This thief almost confessed after a single punch. Hmm. I suspect a beating may result in answers of questionable veracity. Fine. I shall spare you and he the trouble if you first answer me this. What happened at the seance? insist the medium robbed you during the seance. But what occurred exactly? Ah! It was a dirty trick. We were sitting here in the dark, chanting and holding hands, as expected. Then something began to appear from the medium, like a, a cloud or a bubble. The swindler called it ectoplasm. Ah, yes. Common in the spiritualist trade. And quite the spectacle. Indeed. Perhaps too much. 
My beloved Emma screamed in horror, and I stood to defend her, attacking that cursed ghost. How brave. But my hand hit nothing. The medium jumped away from me, and Emma fainted. I lit the candle, and the diamond was gone. How does a priceless diamond become the subject of a seance? It is an unusual accoutrement. Emma wished to speak with its former owners. My grandfather told us it belonged to a Raja, an Indian king. So you were summoning long-dead Indian royalty, and, pray tell, you were expecting him to converse in English? To be frank, Mr. Holmes, I don't believe in ghosts. But Emma was fascinated by the idea of meeting a real king, even a dead one. Well, a crown is a crown. Can you describe the stone itself? A yellow diamond, not less than a hundred carats, and perfectly egg-shaped. There is not another like it. Stay here, and don't touch anything. I'm going to investigate further. Don't fret. I'll be keeping a close eye on this thief. Press LB. Search room. Press LB to highlight interactive area in the environment around you. The ability must reach out before it can use, be used again. Press LB to highlight interactive area. Hmm. Concentration helps you pick up smaller details about the world around you. Oh man, it's so complicated. When you see a scribbled white circle, press RB to observe the object more closely. Okay. The oh, diamond was placed on the table so that all participants could reach it. This must be the ectoplasm. Too bad there's not enough for a proper chemical analysis. Ectoplasm? The ghost was here, Sherry. There are light traces of rouge on the edge of this wine glass. This brooch is old and cheap, but the moth design has its charms. Half a glass of Balblair scotch and the remains of a poor Laranaga cigar. What else does a gentleman need? Okay, let's try the LB. I don't get the LB. What do I see here? Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. This hefty chair has nearly broken after hitting the wall. Could one man even lift it? At Cambridge, I was captain of the rugby team. It was no place for weaklings. He's talking. Mm -hmm. What happened here? I don't know. The ghost. I summoned it as usual, but then it all went wrong. The lady screamed and pointed at Lord Craven. And there was a shadow. Such a mystical force. It terrified the lady. And it must have taken the diamond. Who else could have? Do you feel the presence of any supernatural entities at the moment? Are you joking, sir? My nose is broken, this maniac wants to kill me, and you're asking about the spirits? I suppose this can wait. 
I will investigate, and the culprit will be identified. But the stubborn brute Lord Craven blames me right now. As if I could do something like that. Uh, perhaps you can reason with him, please? Oh, seems like you're ready to delve into your mind, Palace Sherry. I'm sure you'll make some good deductions. You found enough clues to make a deduction. Open the uh, casebook with and uh, navigate to Mind Palace. Side pair the clues you gather to make deduction. Okay. Lady Craven faced the window. During the scene, Lady Craven place at the table was opposite a window to the courtyard. Look on the pin in the shape of a moth. The lady pointed across the table. Lady Kevin pointed across the thin table as something and screamed. Lord Kevin punched the medium when he discovered that the diamond had been stolen. Lord Kevin punched the medium in the face. Reduction. I have no idea. Just Lady Craven was pointing at the window. I'm sure she saw someone in the courtyard during the scene. Character for Lord Craven. Lord Craven testimony. Someone. In the courtyard, Lady Gran must have seen someone outside as she was pointing the window. I'm certain that someone was in the courtyard during the scene. The seance, a witness or an accomplice. I should check the area and see if there are any traces outside. Okay. It seems there may have been an unexpected visitor outside the window. Can I talk to her? The ghost of the Raja. Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely conscious. A feebleness of women. Really, Sherry? Poor thing. Okay, so when I have this, what can I do? Uh, oh. This looks recent. A shoe with a broken heel will surely leave scratches. All right, John. Do you think a ghost could leave this footprint? I'm reserving judgment. Use your keen eye to follow the trail. To track someone movement. Oh my god. I don't remember the, the uh, everything. To track someone movement, first pin the relevant evidence to the screen, then enter a concentration mode with the RB to reveal the trail. Sherlock will intrude the approximate path, so stay within that search area okay so press pin then rb which one i want to pin someone in the courtyard in that and then RB uh -huh.
size four with a broken heel. Size four with a broken heel. Talk to this guy. Can I talk to you? No. Such a shame that Inspector Placido vanished. I'd feel much safer with him handling this. Okay, let me see. What's up? Without the hill, we leave track. So I found the track. Now what? Someone in the courtyard on the broken hill. John's bed. Unlucky sins. Dark ritual. Well, I think I didn't finish the. Maybe the. Not that other one. To track someone's movement, first pin the relevant evidence to the screen, then enter conservation mode to reveal the trail. Show will intuit the approximate path, so stay within that search area. I'm lost.
Why did I lost track of, of that? Someone was here. I guess I found it, so what now? The scribble circle indicates a point of interest and hints that you should concentrate. Why did the concentration wait to wait for Sherlock to notice the details about the object or even reduce what may now be missing in the case book? <laughs> in the case book, this icon on the piece of evidence indicates that you need to use concentration. Oh, okay. See if there's such an icon beside the concentration icon in the case book. Maybe I'm not pinned anymore. Yeah. So I have an eye and I have a pin. I concentrated while I'm pinned. I tracked the scratches. It was so complicated. Let me talk to John. Maybe he have an idea. Ghost hunting. This case gets more exciting by the minute. You're not helpful. Let me talk to this guy. Find the stone, Mr. Holmes, and quickly. Ooh, I love the ambiance. Nice and creepy. This is it. Oh. He's back, okay. I'm back on track. Okay, I'm after you. And then you went there. Then you went there. I did already. Size four with a broken heel. Mm. Rose de Moore. All the maids in the hotel wear this exact shoe. So definitely not the ghost of a Raja. Unless... <sighs> no. What a shame. Our witness was a nosy maid. Hmm. Searching the entire hotel could be difficult. Perhaps the other maids can help us find her. That was all I'm missing. Only just one little clue. May I ask for your assistance? Oh yes, I can tell you everything, sir. The staff said that Lucia got a scolding from the chief steward for wearing common shoes at work. She should be cleaning near the pictures upstairs now. All right. Can I run? Oh, <laughs> that's good. Okay. Upstairs, near the pictures. Maybe I should ask. Is this familiar to you? I usually have an answer for everything, but not for this. 
Okay. Oh. Oh. Do you know anything about this? Sir, I don't know. Try asking someone else. Everyone's looking at us, Sherry. You sure you know what you're doing? You're not helping. Finally, there you are. One would think a maid would be easy to find in this place. I, I, I'm sorry, sir. Do you need more towers? No, no. You are the maid who saw the ghost in the seance room, yes? How did you know? Simple. You changed shoes after breaking a heel while fleeing the scene. I'm sorry, sir, but if I may ask, who are you? I'm a novelist documenting the supernatural and those who witness it now. Should you take a starring role in the tale, I will need your name. Oh, my. A book? And you want to include me? I'm Lucia. Lucia Siletta. Something went wrong during the seance, Lucia, but no one will tell me what happened. You would be a valuable interview if you were there. I was, and I saw everything with my own eyes. Describe what happened during the seance. A lady and two gentlemen were sitting at a table, touching their hands to something. The medium started to whisper and, and chant, and a ghost appeared. A ghost? You're confident? Hmm? It was unearthly, sir. It grew from the medium's chest, a glowing cloud or a bubble. I pressed closer against the window to see better. And the lady saw you? How did she? Yes. She screamed and pointed, so I hurried to escape, and I broke my heel. But I did see the ghost, a sickly, evil thing. And that's all you can tell me? Did you see any of what happened next? Mm -hmm. the, the medium, Mr. Galici, he was doing something with the ghost. He grabbed at it like he was trying to catch it. And then I ran. I suppose I should be grateful you endured these horrors for such a long time. All right, I have your account memorized. Good day. You lied to the poor girl, Sherry. What a tease. She'll dream about being a character of that book. Surely a pleasant dream is better than no dream at all, John. Oh, let's get back to the crime scene. I always love seeing you explain simple things to simpletons. Lady Craven retired to her room to rest. Lord Craven remained here until the staff reported that the medium was locked in his room. With enough clues, Sherlock can use imagination to reconstruct the past, interact with the node to begin, the, uh, then recreate an accurate version of events. He tried to place the science participants in their correct position. Mm. Okay. This tutorial seriously just drained my powers. I mean, it's nice, it's cool and everything, but it's just too late here. It's like one, maybe two o'clock in the morning, so I'm, I'm done. My brain is done. Okay, so A is next, Y is previous. A. What, what am I supposed to do? She's sewing her. Okay. She was at the window. She's so... No. No. Yeah. Okay. But I'm not sure who was there. Maybe it's the other way around because of the... I 
I think. Okay, and you. Yeah, I think this one. That's it. So validate. It all began when the lady screamed and pointed at the window. Lord Craven jumped up, ready to face anything, ghost or human. The medium shrank back in dismay. He was not expecting such a reaction and had to quickly hide the ghost. The lady was the only one left touching the diamond, at least until she fainted. Amazing! It's like you saw it with your own eyes, sir. Oh, I forgot that you were here. I guess I should discuss all of this with Lady Craven. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. If the lady was touching a diamond, then she would have felt the ghost take it. What do you think it felt like, Sherry? A jellyfish? Yes, John has really stupid things to say. I mean... What did he say? Two, 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 six? This is five. Hmm? This painting looks authentic, but it's just a talented imitation. Two to six. Lady Craven? Is this familiar to you? Please, don't get angry, sir. But I know nothing about this, I swear to you. Gossip can help you investigate a case or even discover a new one, so don't hesitate to eavesdrop on people even uh, when you see an ear icon, hold A and try to filter out important words from useless chatter. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior now. Continue. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? That's it. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? What? Action by Lady Craven aroused suspicion in the maids. Sounds bent acquaintances. The chef steals four. What? Cannot use fish now? What? I have no idea what I did. But I think my brain is done. So I have to try and get out. That's it for now. Yes. 